Today we're gonna check out everything that's been happening here to Terra Luna Classic and what can we expect for the future of this coin here. So let's go. So here you are, core market cap, right now the market cap here for Terra Classic is basically at 653 million dollars. The volume here did go down here, we're at 36 million dollars. So the volume is slowly going down, but we have been stabilizing here for the longest of times. The price is back at 0 0.00099, but we're still okay. We're pretty much still stabilizing at the same price level we were for the last seven to 10 days so right now not too many big moves again i want to talk about the history of luna classic here so why is this investment such a super risk investment it's because luna classic did fall you have to remember that we had a massive crash here so because of massive crash, basically this is one of the riskiest investments you can ever do. Now why? It's because the past that happened. Can Terra Luna go and reach all the way, all the highs we had before? No, that's the biggest problem because I do not believe that we're going to see massive companies again investing into Luna Classic. Before you had like massive companies lending money, investing money into Luna Classic. But right now, I don't think that's going to happen. At least maybe not anytime soon because... They're gonna be afraid. They already lost a lot of money here. So who, which big company is going to invest into this kind of coin here that has that kind of a past? So that's not gonna happen. But it doesn't mean the community won't start to slowly reestablish the coin, make that revival plan, and implement some new features. That's a huge difference. A really huge advantage the Luna Classic actually has is basically it's listed on all the major exchanges. So because it is on the major exchanges, people can buy Luna Classic pretty easy. So that's at least that's a pretty good thing. Binance is also behind the community right now for Terra Luna Classic. If we have the burn implementation, it's going to be a big and good sign here because I hopefully do believe that Binance will enable the burn. And if we do have that kind of burn, then we're going to burn millions and millions, actually billions of Luna every single day. Like $1 million, $2 million worth of Luna every single day. And that's really, really good if you're asking me. Because over time, we're going to burn a lot of Luna. So, for that to happen, patience is key. So, we have a new dev team. The Terra Rebels. So Terra Rebels are working on implementing the new proposals because TFL basically left the project and now they're focusing on Terra Luna 2. So because of that, we can only like hope that our new team, the Terra Rebels, which is a decentralized team. So it's basically not like a group of people who are in one place, have one office and try to do everything. They're basically random people from, or Terra, from the Terra Luna community who are trying to do this. And if they succeed, then Terra Luna will become a decentralized, truly actually decentralized token. And slowly it can They'll continue here to go up. Like I said, I don't believe it can go to former glory, but I do believe it can increase and it can continue to go up in the future. So for now, stabilization is key. And there's a lot of things that could happen and there's a lot of things that could happen in the wrong way for this. You just have to remember, there's a lot of people who are holding Luna somewhere here in all these areas buying the dips. So those people will pretty much sell in the future. So we still have whales. We have still have people who have invested a lot of money into this coin. And also a lot of people lost a lot of money. You have to think about that. Like why would anybody who lost two or three hundred thousand dollars in Luna, in the old Luna, why would they invest money again into this? They won't. That's the thing. Only new investors who weren't in the Luna before who bought these dips are going to continue to hold and see what's going to happen. Hopefully, we are going to survive this bear market. And the bear market is still going to last for like a year, year and a half. So we have to be still patient about that one. And because that in the future, there is a chance if we do last long enough that it will continue to go up. But the problem is, like, like you can see here, the volume is slowly going more and more down. That's because not too many big things are happening. I do believe on the 26th, if the staking is enabled, we're going to see a lot. We're going to see a big increase. We're going to see a big increase here for Terra Classic. But like I said, again, for that, we're going to need some patience. We're going to need some testing and everything needs to be enabled. So, long way to go, guys. Baby steps. We're in baby steps right now. We have to be either... It's it's a huge gamble, guys. I'm absolutely saying it. This is a huge gamble. Like, you can lose all your money here. Absolutely, you can lose all of your money here. But if the dev team, if the Terra Rebel team actually does something, then there's a chance here that we could go up. That's the whole point. There is a chance that the price of this coin can continue to go up. But, like I said... All depends on the terrible team. If they do implement the new burn, they do implement the new code, then yes, 
Terra Classic can go up. If they fail to do that, if they fail to uh, reason with the Valor leaders, if they fail in all of that, then pretty much Luna Classic is a dead project. And that's it. Even TFL is saying that this is basically a dead project because we're not going to see any big investors investing into it. But maybe there's still a chance because of the normal users, because of the everyday user who's going to buy this. And slowly then it should be able to continue to go up. Like I said, it's still listed on all the major exchanges. It's pretty easy accessible, but still the stigma behind it, it's going to be, it's going to just trouble a lot of people here. But Patience is key, like I said, all depends what's going to happen in the next, let's say, month or two with Terra Luna Classic. There could be some move, big moves to the upside. There could be moves to the downside because of Bitcoin. Bitcoin could break any time here. Like, we're getting rejected. It's the third time we're getting rejected at this level. If Bitcoin gets rejected even more, then we are going to go down. We are going to go down to make some new lows. That is a massive possibility if Bitcoin breaks to below, actually. But if we break above, then there's a chance here the Luna Classic can go up with Bitcoin. Well, again, all depends on what's going to happen in the next couple of days here. So we're going to see. We're going to see every single move pretty soon here. We have a major update here from Terra Rebels. So let's go through it. Saying here, update from Terra Classic Core Intro and Meeting. So Terra Classic will be the first cryptocurrency to have its APIs exposed to Google Carbon, the successor to C++. This will be started ideally in September 2022, but will depend on the speed of progress with the Carbon Language Development Team. So right now, Carbon does not support these other factions, uh, which limits our development. As soon as asynchronous calls are implemented, development will begin on the Carbon port of Terra JS. Hex and Chain, our layer two interrupt service, will be running its first ever test transaction within the next two days, ideally today or tomorrow. This will be a test contract call between Terra Classic, Luna Classic, and Polygon here. Assuming that this works, we will be at the 90% completion mark for being ready for a test net, which means having you all be able to spin up your own nodes, start developing your dApps to so support Hexon chain and cross chain transaction calls. So, testnet will initially be limited to selected individuals who are either a member of the Terra Rebel development team, so any group have an active project that has been approved for development and support under the Classic Core Intro Project Mitigation Team. So there you go. Now we have one more here. This information on tests will be provided in the next few weeks. The test transaction results will be provided as soon as they are ready. So status on ports for, for Terra.js all are coming along nicely. So C Sharp, Java, Python, and Carbon. So additional language support will be announced in future. So project migration. Uh, we have 33 projects in active migration stati status or near completion. When the Terra Rebel website goes live, we will have a dedicated section to all projects that have um, migrated successfully or are in the process of migrating and have been verified and approved by the project migration team. Please stay tuned for more information to a later date. So, 33 different projects are migrating here to the new update. That's awesome. To see, I want to thank everyone who joined today. I want to especially thank the Classic Core Interpro team, so who have really stepped up to the plate in my absence. So the Classic Core Interpro team have been working tirelessly to get projects completed and stored, and they deserve the utmost praise for that. Thanks everyone, and see you all next meeting. So that's awesome. First thing first says here, getting you folks prepared. So how to stay, how to create a Terra wallet, how to move from centralized exchanges to Terra station. Note, staking is not available yet. So help educate others by repeating this out, folks. So next time we'll be able to stake in the future on the 26th. It says here, the loan class supply comes to 10 billions, then $1 is not impossible. Think about it if you're intelligent. Waiting for 1.2 transaction burn implementation. After this, the moon journey will start. Stay positive, stay strong. This year, Binance and Wallet just surpassed 2.7 trillion Luna Classic. That's almost 40% of the total supply. What will happen around August 26th when staking and delegation on the validators is re enabled? This is the whole point. So basically, staking on the 26th, we're going to see what's going to happen, but hopefully we're going to see that staking being implemented finally, and finally it working. So blockchain dev has made contact with Terra Rebel. So that's amazing. This is, this is a huge win. Version 21 incoming. Retweet this. The masses must know. 
check out the video for yourself if you do want so guys and that's about it here from this Twitter account but basically like I said the 26 should be uh, staking so staking enable on Terra classic if that happens we're gonna see mass amounts of holders staking the Luna and then we know that they're not gonna sell they're gonna stake pretty much we're gonna see a, a nice price bump since here today's update, how do you feel about Terra Classics? And people are 55% biased. Yeah, people people want to buy. This is on Lunar Crush, which is super interesting. Since here, TFL has requested changes on our poll requests. You can see everything and the discussion on GitHub. So there you go. DK still has a plan for Lunar Classic. Just be patient. Staking coming on Terra Station. So staking. At least one step in the right direction. So patient. Lunar Classic is everything in 2022. Don't miss it $1 very soon. I don't think we're gonna reach one dollar anytime soon guys so do not be fooled by this one dollar is super far away so do not expect us to reach one dollar we're gonna eat like at least one zero but not too much right now we need to stabilize and that's it this is what's gonna happen until we see the next move for bitcoin this is what we are waiting for since your few viewers of grinding can produce a lifetime of freedom you can never create a passive income source without creating an active income source first yeah that's super important so that's about it here. So the story will be on a Netflix one day. It's a long class from 0 0.0015 to $1 basically. Basically, that is a possibility here, but not yet. Not anytime soon. And Dokkan here saying decentralized networks need decentralized money. Obvious today more than ever. Yeah, decentralized networks need de decentralized money. In the end, guys, I'm not a financial advisor. If you do want to invest into these coins, please do your own research first. Hopefully, guys, did enjoy this video. If you didn't mean search me, if you can like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm gonna see you guys in the next video.